Welcome to my home gym. Okay, so today I'm going to be taking you along with me for 24 hours to show you what I do in a day, how I work out in my gym, how I eat, how I run my work schedule today. Monday is a very busy day. Everything from my workouts to my meal prepping to taking the kids to school and the homework and I have my work calls and TV show. There's a lot going on. So I can't wait to share all this with you. So let's go, let's get the day going. Five AM workouts. <sighs> Never easy, but it always feels good when it's done. Okay, so now that the workout is over, I come into the kitchen and the craziness of the morning routine starts. So I make breakfast, make the kids eggs. Um, I'll, show, I'll take you along the ride with me. So. We're gonna get breakfast started, here we go. Okay, so after I'm done my workout, I have been taking creatine. And I just do a little bit of some coffee. Every morning after I get the kids breakfast done, I get my breakfast and I have been using and tracking all of my meals. So I'm really, really specific about what I'm eating, how much I'm eating and all the macros that go into it. So that being said, every morning I have three um, apple sausages and then I have um, hard boiled eggs that I make, uh, that I prep ahead of time. So 
all of my hard boiled eggs in here. And then what I do is I have one full egg and then I have two egg whites. And I've had a couple questions about why, like why don't you eat the full egg? Well, because there's more, you know, fat and carbs in a full egg than there is in one. So just egg whites are 17 calories, but a full egg is about 75. So two egg whites and one full egg, some salt, some pepper, three sausage wings, and a rice cake with some a tablespoon of peanut butter and some blueberries and maybe a little bit of honey or cinnamon. Um, also, what, I've been, what I did yesterday um, was cottage cheese. So actually, I might do that this morning instead. So cottage cheese with blueberries and cinnamon. And that's really good because it's high protein. Unlike the rice cake, it's more like a filler. Um, so I'll show you my breakfast, but I have something exciting I'm going to share with you Jackie, um, which is why I'm doing this video. I have an exciting announcement and some of you already caught on to it, but I'm going to make the official announcement on today's YouTube video and I can't wait to share with you guys. And again, I know a lot of you, you guys have been following me, you kind of know what's up. So I haven't officially announced it, it's going to happen today, but I'm going to show you my breakfast first. All right. So next we have our food scale. I got my blueberries, I got my cottage cheese, and I'm just gonna zero out my scale. I'm gonna go to grams. And I'm just gonna do 100 grams of cottage cheese. So 100 grams of cottage cheese. Is it you ready? Okay, so before I take the boys to school, I'm just gonna do a quick little makeup. Literally, like, two minute makeup. It's not even five minutes. Under eyes, face, and mascara, and that's it. <laughs> and then some mascara. And that's it, just for the school drop off. Okay, that's it. School drop off ready. <laughs> Okay, 
day, morning vitamins. Oh. Okay, off to school, drop off. Who's ready for school? Who's ready for school? Me. Yay! I'm gonna roll. Okay. Let's rock and roll to school. Gum, gum. No gum in the morning. Okay. Off to school. Come Off on. Off to school. Off to school. Here we go. <laughs> Off is open. No. School day. My handsome boys. All right. Not today. All right. Drop off at school time. Here we go. Who's ready for a great school day? Yeah, I'll take your back. All right. Who's ready for a great day? Good job, Jakey. Okay, hold my hands. Hold my hands, Jakey, hold my hands. All right. No, I don't want you to Okay, 45 minutes later, I got my nails done. <laughs> now off to work calls, I'm gonna drive home and then in 15 minutes, I start my work day. Okay, so today we're gonna do like a get ready with me. We're gonna chat while I get ready for my calls. So Mondays are very crazy because um, I have calls in the morning and well first as you saw i dropped the kids off and then after i dropped the kids off today i got my nails done because they really needed to be done and i wanted to get them done before halloween so i ran over to get my nails done and then i had a quick uh client call which was like only about 30 minutes and then after that i jumped in the shower because mondays i'm on camera a lot like mondays I um, am on for the academy, and then I have other um, client calls that I do, but then I also um, do the Connect Network, which is on the CW. It airs every Saturday, but um, we, we record, so we tape on, um, we record on Mondays. So, instead of having to like, just have my hair, you know, hair and makeup done for one thing, I'm like, maximize it and get it done for all the things so I can have nice hair and makeup for the day, for my calls, for my content, for the show. So, you know, it's just multi-purpose. You know, if we're gonna talk about trying to squeeze as much as we can out of every moment and every day, then I'm not just gonna, you know, look nice for one thing, I'm gonna look nice for everything. But then this is the other thing, maybe, is like I have other days where I'm not on camera at all. So I might have like minimal makeup, if any. And, um, you know, it's just like, I, I try and batch my days out where I have to be on camera and, um, you know, be on, be on. And then when I don't have to be, 
I can repurpose other stuff and use what it looks like I'm on every day. So, you know, you have to kind of find your routines and rhythms, like what works for you. But Monday for me is a very heavy, like content day. So that is why I will do fresh hair and makeup. And honestly, if I blow my hair out on a Monday, it'll last me until at least like Wednesday or Thursday. So, you know, between dry shampoo and so I'm working out a lot, you guys. Um, again, that stay tuned because that announcement is coming this afternoon. Um, but yeah, fresh makeup, Ooh, fresh makeup, and you just freshen up your hair and you're good to go. I like to use this on my lips because I get really dry. I don't know what this is. Morel like a little lip conditioner. So I use that. Um, but yeah, okay, so we're gonna talk about letting your content maximize for you. You know, let it maximize for you because if you're gonna be on TV or TV or media or social media or anything like that, you really should get as much out of it as you can. And not only that, but the days that I get like professional hair and makeup done, I'll even tell Jared, like, let's go out on a date night because, you know, we got to let it, we really got to let it maximize. So today is just, I'm going to probably do lighter makeup now than I will. I'll just like touch it up before I go on TV. Um, but i to get the contouring. Um, but yeah, that really is... Uh, such a big help if you can let your makeup, you know, have heavier days when you're going to be making content and then other days when you know you don't need to be on TV or on camera, I should say on camera, not TV, on camera because then you don't have to do all this. Honestly, I know, you know, all the girlies love the makeup and stuff and I like it to a certain extent, but it just takes so long. Like, that's the only thing, like hair and nails, and makeup, it just takes so long. Tanning, like it all takes a lot of time. So needless to say, I enjoy it, but I wish it didn't take so long. So that's why, again, I try and stretch out my days when I don't have to do it. I wonder if I can do this here. When I don't have to do it, or, let me know, do it over here. Um, you know, I can, get away with like minimal 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 so i'm gonna finish getting myself ready and then when i'm done i'll chat with you guys before we go on the high performance academy call so i'll see you on the other side okay hair and makeup is done so now we are going to start the academy call and pop into my office and get this going so every monday noon the high performance academy call show you my setup here this is where it all happens and we jump on and we talk to the girls and this week we're talking about crafting your offers for the holidays so if you are a woman in business and you are looking to figure out how to craft your offers ahead of time before the big holiday rush you definitely want to get in on this call we help you with all the different automations and systems and strategies so you get to create the life that you want on your terms with the hours that you want so i'm going to jump on this call and um i'll give you a little bit behind the scenes so stay tuned hi happy birthday Thank you. What are you doing for your birthday? We got both the Amandas on. <laughs> okay, Okay, so just finished the High Performance Academy call. Now I'm going to hop on and edit next week's training 
one more call for the day and then I'm gonna go have a late lunch with the kiddos. Um, we have some really fun stuff planned for this afternoon. So the boys do music class on Mondays. Um, I'll probably prep some dinner for tonight before we go to music class. And then I run home from music class with the boys, do the Connect Network show for an hour from five to six and then we have dinner. So Mondays just fly by, but stay tuned because the announcement is still coming. I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, so I'm sharing my super late, late lunch with you guys because I was on calls and getting work done and it's just when I could fit it in. So here is today's macro-friendly lunch. Ground turkey, broccoli, and a little bit of cheese. And I gotta check the macros on this, but I put it in and it's like around 250, around 250 calories for this bowl. It's pretty full, right? So I'll have this, my water, and then I'll show you for a little sweet uh, like treat, snack. I'm gonna do some yogurt with some like tiny little dark chocolate chips. So still get to have a little bit of sweets, but healthy sweets. So bon appetit. <laughs> Halloween? Yeah. Is this a Halloween uh, <laughs> melody? They're really good. Whoa. Okay, final work call of the day. Third alpha change is Connect Network. And every Monday, like I said, we shoot. Um, so I come into my office literally close the door, turn on the lights, lights, camera, action, and then we go live from my home office, my home studio, and we shoot the Connect Network. So I'm gonna go live, um, you'll see a little bit of the show, and then we'll do the big announcements, so stay tuned. I start with the promos, did you gonna open up for us? Um, and then for the promo, I'm just gonna three, two, on you into it. And then um, a 30 second countdown into the A block because we're pretty quick. Julie is doing a one on one with Wendy at the close of the show. So uh, here we go, ladies. We're going to get started. Stitches are going to open. Woo, woo, woo. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> All right. All right, team. Here we go in three, two, And say goodbye to long waits and hello to convenient healthcare solutions. Dr. Stuart Siegel of Telemed to You is stopping by to talk about easy access to medical specialists without PCP referrals, all from the comfort of your home.
Okay, so now we go behind the scenes. You can see here, studio. We do our countdown and each segment is pre-recorded and we have amazing guests that come on the show and we interview them and then it goes live every Saturday morning on The CW in Texas and Miami. Here we go. Hello, hello, ladies. Okay, so I wanted to come on today to chat with you all about a very special live announcement. I've been teasing this on Instagram, I've been teasing it on socials and YouTube. So I wanted to see if anyone can guess what the live announcement, what this announcement is. Before I actually share what it is, I wanna share with you that Every year I pick something big to challenge myself with. I pick something big mentally, physically, um, write a book, do a pageant, launch a podcast, like something really big, juicy, and exciting. And if you've never done this before, I would really, really challenge you to get uncomfortable and start thinking outside the box of things that you can do that are going to excite you and give you a goal to work, work towards. And get outside your comfort zone. So the, the announcement that I want to share with you all today, I wanna see if anyone's gonna be able to guess this. And again, this is gonna go live um, up on next week's YouTube video. But the announcement that I wanna share with you is that in just six weeks, six weeks, very short time, I'm going to be competing in my very first fitness competition. So if you've been seeing me on Instagram with the heavy weights and the macros and the meal prepping and the workouts and the crazy cardio, it's because I am going to be doing a fitness competition, my very first one in just six weeks. So the time is flying by. Um, I keep thinking to myself, like, how am I going to be ready? How am I actually going to be prepared in six weeks to do this? Um, but I'm looking at this as like the first, the start of this journey. So I don't think it's gonna be my last one. I'm gonna just take it one step at a time, but it's something that um, it's kind of, it's been on my mind for a while. Um, hi, Ashley, how are you? It's been on my, my heart and my mind for, for such a long time. And I'm actually doing it with a close girlfriend of mine. And, you know, I think that it's really important, number one, to always surround yourself with people who are going to challenge you, who are gonna push you. That's why I hired a coach to do this as well, just like I did with the pageant. Um, but I also think that there's something so special in doing something outside of your comfort zone. And for me, I've always, you know, wanted to live healthy. I've always wanted to, um, you know, like eat clean and work out, but this takes it to a whole new level. This takes it to a whole new level of like macro counting and getting 45 minutes of cardio in on top of my weight training every single day. Like it really is pushing my mind and my body to the next level, like in ways that I never even thought possible. And when I was thinking about the next goal that I wanted for myself, I said, you know, I want something that is going to be really 
not just physically challenging, but mentally challenging as well. And when you wanna go eat that cookie or when you feel, you know, like you can't get that, those steps in or the weightlifting in at the end of the day, like that is a mental game so much more than it's a physical game. Yes, it's physical, but it's mental in the sense that like you have to go push yourself to go do these things and step out of your comfort zone of doing something you've never done before. So when I did the pageant, people came to me and said, why are you doing a pageant? You've never done this before. Or when I wrote a book or launched a podcast or the YouTube channel, I believe we are so wildly capable of doing whatever it is that we want in this world. And most of us never even get close to reaching our full potential. So every year I do a big, scary, juicy, like really kind of like out of the box, um, goal for myself and it just so happens to be that this uh, goal this competition is the very first weekend in December and it ha it's a really cool component to it because it's fitness and beauty so it has the gown aspect to it like the pageant does but it's also more bikini style so when I competed in Mrs. International it was sportswear it was um, you know like sneakers this is this is like full on your in bedazzled sequins bikini in the heels um, as well as in a gown. So it's something so exciting. It's something I've never done before and it's pushing me completely out of my comfort zone to do something new and to challenge myself mentally, physically, spiritually, all the things. So one of the things that I will challenge you with is if you haven't already this year, meaning 2024, what is something that you can do before the year is over that you can do to push yourself out of your comfort zone? Because to me, that was a game changer when I decided like, I'm no longer going to play small. I'm no longer going to just like go every day and not challenge myself in ways that get me uncomfortable. Because when I can do things that are uncomfortable, I realize like how capable I actually am. And to give you an example, I am lifting heavier. I'm lifting my body weight. And at some point it's going to surpass that. And to me, I've never, ever, ever lifted this heavier in my life before. And it's crazy to me what my body's capable of doing because I've never tried to push it that hard before. I've never tried to like go that heavy before. I've never tried to push myself outside a certain, you know, oh, well, this is what I'm comfortable with. Upper body, five pounds, 10 pounds. Like I just never did that before. So now this being the first time I'm really, really challenging myself. It is like a whole new level. So I would say pick something that is uncomfortable for you that's completely out of your comfort zone whether it's business whether it's personal whether it's physical whether it's spiritual whether it's it doesn't matter like just pick something pick something that's going to challenge yourself and get around people that are also challenging themselves get around people that are like pushing themselves to new levels get around people that don't that that refuse to stay in their comfort zones and stay in the, the comfort of just the day to day. Because for me, that is the scariest place to be. It's the scariest place to wake up day after day feeling the same, not changing, not evolving, not growing. So if you are not in that environment, I would highly, highly recommend getting in that kind of environment because it's such a game changer. It's a game changer to have people to support you on a journey. When you think you can't do something and you support and you surround yourself with people who are supporting you, cheering you on, you know, and then you tell yourself like, I can do this. I've, I've done harder things before. Like you push yourself to new levels that you never thought possible. So I'm so excited because this is the official announcement. This is going to be going out on YouTube next week, but here for my productivity hacks for ambitious women in the Slayer Day Facebook group, you ladies are the first to hear it before it goes on Instagram, before it goes out anywhere else. The ladies that are here in this group and those of you that are watching on YouTube are going to hear this for the first time, this announcement anywhere because I've been keeping it under lock and key. I've been keeping this a secret up until this point um, because it is for me, I like to work in silence and let the results speak for themselves. 
So I don't like to share a bunch of stuff. I like to share it when it's over with, but I also, you know, don't like to overshare. And then I feel like you kind of psych yourself out or people don't want to support you. Like it's your own game, right? And Ashley, I, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for, for being in this community. Um, but yes, just like Ashley, it's like you got to surround yourself with people who inspire you, who are going to cheer you on, who are going to support your, your crazy goals and dreams, because why not? Why not go after every single thing that we want in life? Because it's all there for us to take. Everything is there. And we're completely and wildly capable of achieving all of these dreams. But we have to believe in ourselves first. And I think that's the biggest message is like, you've got to believe in you first before anybody else can believe in you. So that's my little message for you today. I'm going to leave this here on the Facebook group. The other recording that I'm doing is going to be on YouTube. So those of you that are watching the YouTube video, I want you all to comment below, both in Facebook and on YouTube. I want you to comment below and let me know what is one big, scary, audacious, like exciting goal that you have for yourself that you're going to do before the end of the year. And those of you that are watching this on the replay, I want you to comment below and let me know. It could be a book, it could be a podcast, it could be having a baby, it could be starting a new business venture, it could be doing something in fitness, it could be anything that you're, is on your heart, that your heart desires, right? It doesn't have to check any boxes. The only box it needs to check are is your own, right? It's the own boxes that you create for yourself. So. Thank you guys for being here along this journey. I'm going to be sharing more now that the cat's out of the bag and you know, you guys will know about this officially as of next week when this video gets edited, you'll know more about this and I'll be doing more content around it. But I wanted to share with you first, this is the community that gets to hear it first inside the Productivity Hacks for Ambitious Women. You ladies are doing the work, you're putting in the work and you're showing up every day. So if you want to see more videos like this where I come and just talk to you guys here maybe 10 15 20 minutes a day let me know in the comments below but before we go i want to know what is one big scary juicy goal that you have for yourself comment below and let me know because if you don't have one right now this is going to be a great exercise for you to go through and figure out what that's going to be between now and the end of the year but then you got to pick one for next year for 2025 a big, really inspiring goal that you can push through. And maybe you achieve it at the end of the year. Like I'm doing this the, the, the first week in the last month of the year, right? So like, it's not like I did this in January, the first or the second quarter, I'm doing this at the end of the year, but it took me to this point to figure out like, what is it that I wanna do that's like big and scary and exciting. And it, it has to be also something that it doesn't exactly feel like it's possible. Like you're pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and you're like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this because that's how you know it's a big enough goal, right? It's gotta be a little bit scary. It's gotta be a little bit intimidating. It's gotta be a little bit like, I don't know if I could do this because that's how I feel with this right now. So I will share more details with you coming up about how I'm prepping and what goes into this and all, all of the behind the scenes is gonna be shown through my Instagram and through YouTube. So if you wanna follow along and you wanna see the journey, we're only six weeks out. It's crazy how much your body can change in six weeks. And I'm gonna be sharing the whole evolution. You're gonna see my meal prepping. You're gonna see, now you guys know why I'm meal prepping and doing all the macros and doing all this crazy cardio and weightlifting. This is why. <laughs> so Ashley says, 100K revenue by Thanksgiving, amazing. So where are you at right now? Where are you at right now? If 100K is the goal, what's the gap that we gotta fill? That's, and, and you know, that's how you do goals. That's how you break them down. Like, where are you at right now? Same thing. Where am I at with weight right now? Body fat percentage. Where am I at? Where do I wanna be? You know, and then the data and the information that is gonna help me get there. What I'm eating, how I'm working out, how I'm moving my body, how much water I'm taking in. Like, all these things make a big difference. And again, whether it's money, whether it's health or fitness or business or family or a personal goal that you have, it's just taking little micro steps to get to that big juicy goal that you have. So stay tuned, you guys. There's so much more coming. And like I said, once this video um, gets launched, oh, you're starting today, amazing. Okay, so zero to 100, baby. Day one, let's go. Um, once you once you tell yourself you're started and you're in it, like there's no turning back. It's like burn the ships, you go all in, 
and we're, we're all here for it. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the next six weeks, like six and a half weeks, everything leading up to the competition, um, the body transformations, the macros, the meals, the workouts, like, and those of you that are on here, you guys know ahead of time, and on uh, Facebook you know ahead of time, nobody else knows yet. So in a week from now, when I post this video, you guys will already know, but everything that follows um, is gonna be the really, really exciting journey that I get to share with you ladies. So thank you for being here. Ashley, I'm cheering you on. You've got this girl, 100K revenue by Thanksgiving. So you've got a month, you've got a month to hit it. Maybe, what, a little less? When is Thanksgiving? It's the 28th day. So you've got this. Give yourself those little micro goals every day to set. And uh, I want to hear what everybody else's goals are. So comment below. Let me know. Hey, Jess. Jessica is on. She knew about this. She knew about this this before, I think, most people. Um, so again, let me know. Comment below and let me know what scary, exciting, juicy goal you have for yourself before the end of the year. Because if you don't set goals for yourself, you guys, th these big, exciting things will never happen. So whatever's on your heart right now, when I say go after something big and scary and audacious and something that's out of your comfort zone, whatever you're thinking of that comes to mind, that's probably the thing that you need to go after, okay? Physically, mentally, spiritually, financially, could be with your family. So I'm cheering you on and I would love to help be a part of your support team. So comment below, comment below and let me know what it is that you're going after so we can support each other. All right, you guys have an amazing, Amazing, amazing week. Happy Monday. It's Slayer Day Monday. And I'm going to come on here more often so we can talk and go live with each other. And for those of you that are watching on YouTube, you can join the Productivity Hacks for Ambitious Women Facebook group. Um, I'll link it below in the show notes so you can come join. And we will we'll do these chats more often. This is great. I just got done with the Connect Network. Um, so I hopped off and wanted to come on and do a little, um, a little, I guess it's like a show and tell about, um, what this big juicy goal is that you guys are going to see me doing in the next six weeks. I'm going to bring my trainer on we can talk with her. Um, but if you see me doing all the macro prepping and the workouts and stuff, this is why. All right, you guys have an amazing, amazing week and I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Okay. So wrapping up my day, walking on the treadmill for 45 minutes. I still have 22 minutes left, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We had a little bit of work, family, goal setting. I shared my big announcement with you guys. And this is like, man, I'll tell you one thing. I was exhausted, like literally about that time of the month. And I get really, really tired. And I did not want to come on here and walk for 45 minutes. But when your goals are so big and your goals outweigh your excuses, it becomes easier to do the hard things. So we are just finishing up today's second workout. I'm halfway through I'm watching a YouTube video. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap the day up with some dinner, I'm gonna eat one of my protein stuff dates for a little sweet treat at the end of the meal. And then nighttime routine, some snuggles with the kiddos, and then off to glorious bed because I'm exhausted. And tomorrow I've got like back to back to back calls, but I'm treating myself with a massage tomorrow. So that's gonna be my little treat to myself. So this was the vlog, day in the life of a very, very busy Monday. Wanted to share with you and uh, stay tuned. Tell me if you like these videos, comment below and let me know. If you wanna see more vlog style videos than just straight to camera, kind of day in the life, I'll do more of this. So let me hear from you. Comment below, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.